This new plugin inside After Effects is the best AI rotoscoping I've ever seen. And I'm going to show you a genius, easy workflow between After Effects and the new Photoshop image generation AI. Visionary fire. This tutorial was released from our AI course that shows tons of genius workflows using these crazy AI tools for visual effects and motion graphics. And when you show your clients this, they're going to freak out. So AI is not taking away our jobs, we're going to use it to make more money. So let's make magic happen. We're going to apply the mask prompter effect. Now this is a plugin. I have a link in the description where you can download this. And all we have to do is just check this active and you're going to see how fast this is. Just position that point. Bam! Just like that we have something already pretty cool. Now what you can do is draw around the subject like this. And then you go over here to the path and choose that mask. Mask 1. Can you believe that? That fast. And that, look how fast this thing renders. This is crazy. Now one of the cool things is you go over here to the output. Let's do transparent. You can use this edge enhancement. So turn this on to high. Gravitates right to the edge. And I also like to apply this key cleaner effect. Let me show you key cleaner. And this is going to suck right to the edge. So let's turn the additional edge radius to like 5. The alpha contrast to 75. And look how that just gravitates to the edge. Check out that before and after. It finds the edge perfectly. This is unbelievable and it renders unbelievably fast. We're here in full resolution. This is the first time I've wanted to eat the pixels on my screen. Someone's gonna walk in, I'm gonna be like masturbating this, like what are you doing? Obviously we have the negative point and just put it on his head. Tries to subtract the area. All right, so how do we do this matte painting? Now I'm gonna show you another little secret tool in After Effects that's crazy useful. Let's go to the content aware. You guys are thinking, oh, he's gonna use the content aware. Uh, I've done this before, it's boring. Uh. Actually, I'm only using it for this create reference frame button. This thing is awesome, check it out. Click this and it automatically opens up the shot in Photoshop and creates a dynamic link between After Effects and Photoshop. It, it, it was one click! Ah! Alright, one click. So, we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. You have to get the new Photoshop beta. So here in the Creative Cloud application, you go over here to beta apps and, and download the Photoshop beta. Now with one button, you just click select subject, secret AI, and perfect selection of the foreground. Now we have all these other buttons like Let's say we can expand the edge, smooth the edge, feather the edge, let's do expand, let's say five pixels, perfect. Then we can do generative fill. Now this is like the content aware fill, but it's way more intelligent. So you click this and you say skyscraper. Magic. <laughs> Boom, perfect. Ah! Can you believe how perfect those windows are? It perfectly straight line. <laughs> See the old generative fill, you can see errors in it. Like on this new thing, you can do the old content aware fill. Let's hit OK. You can see that the old content aware fill does a good job, but it's not perfect. And compared to this new generative AI, it's just like Mid Journey, but it uses the data from the image to make it perfectly match. And it also does not use copyrighted images. It uses the Adobe stock to train the AI model perfectly legal. Turn this into a futuristic city. Let's just grab a rectangular selection and just grab all of this futuristic. City. Go, go, go. How is a computer doing this? Look at that. You can just flip between the options here. What's really impressive to me about this is that the lighting matches. Like how does it know the light direction? That's crazy. Choose exactly the one you want. And if you don't like any of these options, you can click generate again and it'll give you more options. Just like Tinder, except the results are good on this. Now later, I'll show you a way to make the image generation look way better than this. But let's say we're happy with this for now. We can just hit file, save and then jump back in After Effects and voila, dynamic link. So, and now we can parent our image generation layer to the tracking data so it follows the right motion. So now we draw a mask, look at that, it's tracking in, and then we can just stick our foreground character on the top. Boom, that was so fast and so easy. Now it looks great, but to make it look stunning like this, we have to use Mid Journey. Now the Photoshop generative fill does a better job of painting out objects, stuff like that, but Mid Journey can still match the original footage if we upload the image. Hit enter. So then you do slash imagine, and you can drag and drop the image into the prompt like that. And we'll say futuristic city, 
just like this, it's gonna use this image to generate something beautiful that matches this color and this image perspective. Just watch this. Boom, look at that. And my friend Keith is oh on my with God. me. Keith, which one do you think is the best out of these? Well, I really like the bottom right. It matches the lighting. Let's do it. I so was, we get the bottom yeah. right. How you do it is just hit U4, one, two, three, four, hit U4, and it's just gonna that's blow it up. Yeah. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. So then we just drop this into After Effects. Oh, holy dude look at that shot maybe maybe flop it oh my god look at that <laughs> yeah i would take a couple of days to make that image yeah that's so good we have some fog here we add to the shot so we have a reflection of the actor himself just turn down that opacity then we added these reflectors here just really stretched an image and put it on the screen blending mode so it adds reflections on the windows wow <laughs> Pretty stunning comp set extension in just a few minutes. That image is so sick. Now I'll quickly explain a super efficient method to do the tracking. Animation tracking Boris FX Mocha. So this icon here, rectangular tool, let's grab this, track forward. So then we just hit X, let's hit save, create a new null object. And let's go to this tracking data, hit create track data. Let's go over here to transform data, export layer to the null object, apply export. So now here we have our tracking data. And now we can parent our image generation layer to the tracking da data so it follows the right motion. Look at that, it's tracking in. And then we can just stick our foreground character on the top. Look at that set extension. Now there's gonna be some problems, for instance, this rail in the middle here, or if we go like this, you know, there's some issues here. So we can go to our foreground layer. Let's turn this back to overlay, and then we can add more points. So let's turn on this point, make it active. We can add this part in. And then of course we can add more mask as well. So we have this horizontal mask, just like this. Do this path, add another, add mask two, do a horizontal mask here, add mask three. So there we've masked everything, and now we have everything masked on top. By the way, I'm looking for some visual effects artists and motion designers to help me out with some paid client opportunities. Try to reach out to me about that soon because it's time sensitive. Let's work together. And also visionaryfire.com. We've got lots of resources and courses and really fun stuff there. You'll love it. My name is Lyndon for visionaryfire.com. And until next time, crush, destroy, annihilate.